this video, we're going to be talking about the centerpiece of defense every single year in Madden and how you can kind of craft defenses once you have a firm foundation. Once you have a firm core, once you have a firm centerpiece of your defense, this will make every defense. It's really the foundation of defense in Madden every single year, regardless of really console, regardless of patch, regardless of anything. This is what makes a good defense in Madden. And we're going to be explaining how you can actually use this to craft multiple different defenses. So the thing that makes a good defense in Madden every single year, no matter what, is some type of blitz threat or pressure. Now, typically these blitzes are going to provide some type of quantifiable advantage to the coverage on the back end. For example, one of the best blitzes in this game this year is the free safety zone blitz out of the dollar three two formation. The reason this defense is really effective is because you can get a gap pressure occasionally when only sending four people at your opponent. So as you can see here, we're able to get some pretty decent a gap pressure up the middle. And again, oftentimes this will actually come completely free up the middle of the a gap. Now, when you combine that four man pressure and you compare or you compare and contrast that let's take a look at some other formation that might not be as effective this year for example and this is just a simple example here the same defense but now we're going to run it out of the nickel over so everything is basically the same we're blitzing four people at the quarterback and we're going to have you know the same basic coverage shell and behind it so it would look something like what you see on your screen with your user right here. But what you see is when we send four, we're not going to be able to get the same amount of pressure. Now, we are maybe potentially able to get better sheds. This kind of has to do a little bit with practice mode. But in general, the four-man blitz from nickel over is not as effective as the four-man blitz from dollar three two. This is also, if you look at any defense that has been good in Madden over the last several years, it all really fundamentally starts with a pressure defense. So I'm going to give you some of the best blitzes in the game this year, and uh, we're going to kind of talk through you know, how you can do this. So I like to have some type of pressure plan. We show this in all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, which, by the way, we're going to be dropping a brand new website for you guys to get access to all of your offensive and defensive ebooks from me on. And we're going to be dropping kind of a final form to the Madden 24 season ebooks over on our school page. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's the same price as the Patreon. It's just going to be a lot more user friendly and a lot more options for you guys to help you improve at Madden. So if you want to sign up for the school page, the link's going to be down in the description. All of the ebooks from the Patreon will be moved over to the school page over the course of the next week or so. So that way you can have access to all of the content. For our Patreon members, we'll also continue to update that as well. But we are going to be moving to the school platform just because it's a little bit better in terms of giving you more options to consume your content. So again, the link to that's going to be down below. Okay, so one of the best blitzes in the game is really just this free safety zone blitz. And all we're going to do is we're going to contain and we're going to get this five-man A-gap pressure. Now, this is good because it's five on five. We're getting a plus one advantage. Let me show you why this is specifically good. So let's say I blitz this linebacker through this gap, and let's just say I user this guy, right? This is not guaranteed to get anybody in. As you see, we blitz the same amount of people, but we're not getting pressure. The, the biggest thing you want to think about defensively is being strategic with the resources you have. The more people you blitz, the less people you have to play coverage. The more people you play coverage with or you need in coverage, the less people you can blitz. So having efficient blitzes that don't utilize a lot of people is really effective. There's a couple things with blitzes. Number one, you want to have a cost-effective blitz where if you're sending five at the quarterback, you want to make sure that that's consistently getting somebody free if they are sending five receivers on a route. Also, if you're sending six at the quarterback, then you want that to also be effective if they block a running back. So for example, let's say you know that they block a running back. If I go to spinner here and I just pinch my D line, if they block a running back, even though that's a good way to pick this up, a lot of times we're still going to get pressure, as you can see, off of that right hand side. So these are really, really important components of a really good defense. You need a also, I think a really underrated component of defense is having a good what I would call shed defense or send three. So every year there is kind of like thresholds in which you can send 
some Maddens, like Madden 21, for example, you could send a two-man rush and you could consistently get sheds. They've kind of changed that over the years, and now it's really a send three with a blitzed user. So, for example, this cover three cloud is a really good coverage defense, but if I just call this cover three cloud and I just stand kind of right here, you're going to see that there's really not going to be a lot of sheds occurring, and we're going to have a lot of time in the pocket, as you can see. So what we want to do is we want to try to craft a send three shed defensive pressure. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to pinch our D line. We're going to crash our defensive line inside. We're going to blitz our user and we're going to stand kind of so that this little bar is above our head. The purpose of the blitz user is to make the D offensive line think that we're blitzing four so that you get sheds. All right. And so what you'll see here is you'll see the sheds go up significantly when you pinch and crash down. And occasionally, that actually was incredibly effective, probably because we have secure protectors. But the, the, the thing I wanted to kind of highlight is occasionally you'll actually get some gap pressure as well. So again, we're just highlighting the importance of sending pressure to get sheds, having a send three, a send four, a send five, a send six, maybe even a send seven. I think every good defense in Madden has different pressures. Now, what's also really important to understand about defense is you can pair different coverages with different pressure systems. So for example, one of the best coverages in Madden 24 is the double flat coverage where we have the 30 yard uh, cloud flats and then we have the, the uh, five yard purples. This is a really good coverage, but it's really also good if we're pairing this with our send three pressure system and as you can see now, we're kind of putting together an entire defensive play, not just a blitz, not just a coverage, but we're kind of putting it all together. Now, the other underrated thing that you need to think about when we're talking about crafting a defense in Madden and what makes a defense good every single year is run defense and speed of pressure. This is where the 4-3 even 6-1 can really kind of come back into the conversation as one of the best blitzes or one of the best defenses in the game this year because of how fast the blitz can come in at this point in the year with 99 speed everywhere and everybody having lurk artists. So lurk artists really is what makes this defense, I think, super effective. So you'll see here the, the way the blitz works. All you're going to do is blitz your linebackers and then you're going to zone out one of them. So you see here we zone out this guy on the right, and this little five-man pressure oftentimes, as you see, will scream right up the A-gap. Now, again, this is a blitz, This is a plus one advantage, but we also have a send four variation. So the send four variation could be a standard double Mabel defense. Looks something like this right here, and what you'll see is this four-down lineman shed defense is actually better than, for example, the nickel over. Why is this defense, why is this four down lineman shed defense better? Well, because if you were to pinch your defensive line and you were to run the defense like this, then you can get these crazy disengages up the A-gap. You also, just kind of the way the game has progressed, you can get those disengages as well if you were to just leave the defense as is. So you see here, sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but occasionally you can get these little disengages and quick sheds. So why is that better than nickel over? Why is that better than dime two, three, six, for example? It's better because not only do you have a five-man pressure that is significantly better than to, to the nickel over, it's faster, but also your shed defense has a chance of coming in completely free. And I would argue that in 6-1, the sheds actually happen a little faster than in other formations. Um, and then, of course, the send three variation where we drop this guy in a vert hook. You see here, send three, and we can kind of be back out into a really nice little coverage defense on the back end of the defense. So... That is, that is kind of the idea. Now, one of the other things that we have to kind of account for in terms of a good defense in Madden, and again, we have all of these eBooks on our Patreon and our school page. Our school page is going to be getting updated with the a little bit more final form of Madden 24 and kind of really bringing everything to the forefront at the end of the year. So if you're not a school member yet, it's a great place to get better. 10 bucks, links in the description to get that. But what I wanted to talk about here is one other little element that we need to talk about in Madden 24 is RPOs. So you have to have a plan for how are you going to defend an RPO. So for example, one of the easiest methods to defending an RPO, especially against like a spread set, would be to man this guy up to the RPO threat and then bring this guy down. But as you can see, this kind of changes how the coverage has to 
kind of progress. So maybe we need to deep half this guy over here on the right and then use her like this. And you see there we can defend the RPO with the man up. But in general, a defense also has to be able to it has to be able to get pressure. It has to be able to stop the run and it has to be able to have coverage options. So most defenses can you can kind of create the coverage options that you want, but what you can't really create, what is a little bit formation specific is the blitzes that you can craft, especially in this year's game. Not every blitz is created equal, which is really important. Uh, some blitzes are harder to block than others, but also how you defend RPOs. For example, if you pass commit out of this, a lot of times he'll be able to get out there and defend that RPO if it's just a standard bubble. If it's an RPO read, it's a little different. But in general, we have a plan for how we're defending the run, right? We can shoot the inside zone pretty easily out of 4-3, even 6-1. 4-3, even 6-1 is also probably the best under center run defense. Another thing that's really important to mention about Dollar while we're talking about this is Dollar is really good against RPOs. It's also really good against certain runs. It's not good against every run, but against most runs, this defense does a pretty decent job. And all you really have to do is back to our three-man rush, pinch D-line, crash down, and then blitz your user and stay on the side of the running back. So now all you're going to see here is we're just going to basically kind of kind of fill in the lanes. And as you see, we can get these little disengaged sheds to be able to happen. But where the run defense is much less important than the blitz, in my opinion, but you do need to account for that because if you have the best blitz in the world but you can't stop the run, then they'll just run the ball on you all game long. That's important. That was a Madden, 20, uh, Madden 21 with the Dime 146. So you have to be able to have a run defense component to your defense. You don't have to be like unbelievably effective against the run. You can kind of contain the run. And that's really what I see Dollar as kind of containing the run. And then I see 6-1 is kind of stopping the run. But in general, every good defense starts with the ability to get pressure. And the reason why I say that is because if I was, let's say I had a really good blitz out of dime normal, which we do, we'll show you. Um, we had a really good blitz out of dime normal. You can create an entire defense around that blitzing system. So one of the best blitzes from dime normal is this dime blitz three. All you're going to do is just pinch your defensive line, stand about right here, crash your D line to the right. And oftentimes you can get this really nice pressure, this five man pressure, right? But then the cool part about this is we can craft the same coverages for the most part, we can craft pretty much the same exact coverages from dime normal that we can do from dollar, for example. Let me explain. So one of the best coverages in Madden 24 is the idea of double flatting. So the way we could do that is we could do something like what you see right here. So if we wanted to go to a more of a coverage-based defense, we're going to use our send for pressure. We're still pinching, crashing down, just like in dollar. It's just now we're from a dime front. And there's, you know, some different things we can do a little bit better against the run, a little bit better against RPOs, a little bit better. Right. But there are some weaknesses to this. One of the weaknesses, well, you don't have a linebacker that you can cross man all over the field. That's a weakness in the coverage aspect. But in general, you can create for the most part the same basic coverages from dime that you can from dollar that you can from nickel three, three. Right. Let's take a look at nickel three, three. This was a defense that was really popular in the beginning of the Madden 24 season. And I actually still think is a really good defense. And that is this nickel blitz flipped. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch shift your D line linebackers left blitz this linebacker here. And then from there you can kind of craft your coverages. So if you wanted to do a, you know, double flat coverage on one side, you could do something like this. And what you'll see is this blitz oftentimes will come right through the middle. So there's your five-man pressure variation. But what about your four-man pressure variation? Well, you also have, you also with this defense have a four-man pressure variation that you can decide you want to run some double Mabel. So this is the four-man pressure variation. You see there, he came right through the middle, completely untouched. We also have a three-man shed defense. So if we want to run a three-man shed defense, and again, the coverage behind it is really just however you want to craft it, right? It's just the adjustments that you want to make on your screen. So, for example, one of my favorite ways to play coverage out of this would be a double Mabel with a man up on the tight end to take away the seam streaks. So you could do something like this. And as you can see, this is a pretty good little coverage defense, and it's a send three pressure variation. What about a send six pressure variation? 
Well, we have the same, we have the sin six pressure variation, as you can see right here. And then all we need to do, maybe in a sin six, we decide we're going to scissor over here on the left side. And then our user is going to go user the tight end. So we'll just man him up from the tight end, snap the ball. We're going to run out, go guard the tight end. And as you see, there's a sin six. So it's sin three, sin four, sin five, sin six pressure variations. The coverage is really the last thing that comes to the table because, and, and every formation has very similar different options just in terms of what they can do from a coverage perspective. Now, of course, Dollar is probably the most versatile coverage defense because you have two middle linebackers and 3-3 three, three as well because you have two, middle linebacker, three, two or three middle linebackers that can cross man on a bunch of players, whereas 6-1, you don't really have that. So there is some differences in terms of the coverage, but the main thing you have to do, no matter what defense you are calling, even if it's big nickel over G, for example, a lot of people like to sit in this big nickel defense, and here's what, what I see a lot. A lot of people like to run this defense, and they'll just send four, which is fine. That's a shed defense, but you have to ultimately have a plan for how are you going to get pressure when you need to, when you need to speed up the timer of the quarterback, how are you going to get pressure? As long as you have an answer to that question, I don't really care what defense you run. I don't think every blitz is created equal. I do think that some blitzes are better than others. But as long as you have kind of the bare bones foundation, the centerpiece of a send three pressure that's going to that's gonna occasionally come in or disengage, a send four pressure that could occasionally come in or disengage, a send five pressure that you know is going to come in whenever they are not blocking a running back, or a tight end, and then a send six pressure that you believe will come in consistently if they do block a running back or a tight end. And then from there, you just craft your coverages behind your pressures, and then you have a run defense. Those are the elements, the, the, the most important tactics for building a defense. You can run a lot of different defenses in Madden as long as they are fa fundamentally founded upon a sound way to get pressure. If they are, if they are, if they are founded on a sound way to get pressure, the sky is the limit for defense. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the school page where we're already dropping our final form eBooks of the year. That really kind of brings everything together, everything we've learned from Madden 24 and one concise eBooks, uh, one concise eBook on Dollar, a concise eBook on Six One, all of the best ones, as well as some off meta stuff that you haven't seen yet. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the school page, the link is down in the description below.